SpaceX has been at the forefront of space exploration and has consistently pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible. However, recently the SpaceX Starship prototype has just been unveiled in all its glory, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, as we are going to talk about SpaceX revealing a naked Starship prototype to the test site unlike another. So without further ado, let's discuss the story. The Starship prototype has been the talk of the town ever since SpaceX first unveiled it, and for a good reason. It's a game-changing spacecraft that could revolutionize space travel as we know it. And now, with its naked reveal, we can see every detail of this masterpiece. SpaceX has rolled out a strange naked Starship prototype from its Starbase Texas factory to a nearby test site, joining Starship 25 at Pad B. This marks the first time we've had dual Starships at the suborbital launch site since SN9 and SN10 in 2021. But what does SpaceX intend to do with this bullet-like prototype? Beginning with its cone-tipped nose section, SpaceX has been stacking Starship S26 back in October of 2022. By early January of 2023, the prototype was complete and has now been revealed in all its naked glory. This unusual move has left space enthusiasts wondering what the future holds for this spacecraft. But that's not all. In a recent development, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has revealed some exciting details about Starship's first orbital flight. The spacecraft is set to make its first orbital flight in the coming months, and Musk has stated that this flight will be a crucial milestone in SpaceX's journey towards becoming a multi-planetary species. Meanwhile, NASA has picked Blue Origin's new Glenn to fly a science mission to Mars, making it the latest player in the race for space exploration. With so much going on in the world of space travel, it's an exciting time to be a space enthusiast. As always, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for this innovative company. SpaceX's latest Starship prototype, S26, has been stacked to its full height of 50 meters, or around 165 feet, and welded together after about six more weeks of outfitting. This bullet-like spacecraft has been transported to one of two stands formerly used for suborbital Starship test flights, and SpaceX lifted Ship 26 on a suborbital Pad A on the morning of February 12, just a few hundred feet to the left of Starship prototype S25. Ship 26 is four months younger than Ship 25 and rolled out with Raptors installed as it still needs to pass several simpler tests. However, the most significant difference between the two starships is that S26 has zero heat shield tiles and no flaps. Since the 2020 to 2021 period of suborbital starship flight testing, all finished ships have been fitted with around 10,000 black ceramic heat shield tiles, which theoretically protect starships from the intense heat created by re-entering Earth's atmosphere at orbital velocity. However, S26 has none of these tiles, making it an unusual sight at the test site. In addition to the lack of heat shield tiles, S26 also has no flaps, which are necessary for starships to steer and orient themselves during orbital re-entries. They are also required to control themselves during exotic landing maneuvers, which require the ships to free fall belly down, like a human skydiver, and aggressively flip into a vertical orientation for propulsive landings. It's unclear why S26 is lacking these critical features, but space enthusiasts are speculating that SpaceX is testing the Starship prototype's aerodynamic stability without the use of flaps. Whatever the reason, this unusual move by SpaceX has left many wondering what the future holds for this innovative company and its exciting Starship project. The Starship prototype S26 is unlike any other Starship that SpaceX has built so far. It lacks heat shield tiles, flaps, and a payload bay making it look like a smooth, featureless bullet. This prototype is intentionally expendable and cannot return to Earth or deploy satellites, which raises the question, why does it exist? There are several possibilities. It could be a depot moon lander or something else entirely. SpaceX is developing multiple types of starships, including crew and tanker ships, a moon lander and a depot ship that will store propellants for in-space refilling. The depot ship, based on low-resolution renders, appears to be the most similar to Ship 26, but there is no evidence that Ship 26 has the necessary hardware for docking or propellant transfer. It also lacks a power source, like solar arrays, needed to survive in orbit for days or weeks. Despite these limitations, Ship 26 can achieve SpaceX's target of 250 tons to low Earth orbit. 
but that is only a fifth of a full propellant load. So, while it may seem like an elaborate mistake, SpaceX clearly intended to build Ship 26 and is preparing to qualify it for flight. Its purpose remains a mystery, but it is clear that it is destined for more than the scrapyard. In the meantime, SpaceX is making progress towards its first orbital flight with the Starship. CEO Elon Musk recently revealed that the company plans to launch an orbital Starship flight as early as July of this year, though he cautioned that this timeline is subject to change. The launch will be an important milestone for the company and could pave the way for future missions to the Moon and Mars. Elsewhere in the space industry, NASA has selected Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket to fly a science mission to Mars. This announcement comes as NASA seeks to expand its exploration of the Red Planet and looks to partner with commercial companies to do so. With SpaceX, Blue Origin, and other companies pushing the boundaries of space exploration, the next few years promise to be an exciting time for the industry. SpaceX and Blue Origin are making progress in their respective space programs. SpaceX is preparing for its first orbital launch attempt with Starship and the Super Heavy Booster, while Blue Origin has been awarded a contract from NASA for its new Glenn Heavy Lift Orbital Launch Vehicle. SpaceX's ships 26 and 27 remain a bit of a mystery, but there are indications that they may be used for Starship docking and propellant transfer tests. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's escapade mission is set for a late 2024 launch to study the magnetosphere of Mars using twin spacecraft. Both companies are contributing to the growth of commercial launch services in the US and fostering the development of space exploration. The future of space travel is looking bright with these advancements. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.